Hello. Hello. Hi, good evening. Hello. Good evening. Welcome. How are you tonight? Good. Everything good? Everything yeah. good. <laughs> it's nice to see you again. How was your day? It was busy, <laughs> but good. Busy? Why? You yeah. went to work and what else besides that? Uh, I had to cook for dinner and I had to prepare my lunch for tomorrow. So it was <laughs> kind of busy, but okay busy now. Cooking. I'm relaxing. Yeah. All right, good. Mr. Juan Carlos, Katia Lima, Heidi, I have Juan Carlos Garcia. So I have two Juan Carlos, huh? Mirna, Yolanda. Okay, great. Nice seeing you again. All right, uh, let's get started. Okay. So I think everybody already finished section 1.7, right? Now we're going to go to section 1.8. Eight, and if you finish this exercise, help me out, all right? So number one, let's do it quickly, please, all right? Number one, Juan Carlos Servión, can you help me, please? You're muted. No, we don't hear you, Juan Carlos. All right. Katia, okay, Juan Carlos, go ahead. Guys, unmute the uh, microphone right now, please. Yeah. Uh, which, which option is a correct way that answer the question? Were you a good student in high school? Uh-huh. Well. All right, number two, Miss Katia Lima, okay? Think about it. Okay, number two, put these works in the correct order. You're born where city in this question mark. Okay, so what is the answer for Option. number one, guys? Yes, I was. Yes, I was. I was. All right, for number two. Were you born in the city? Yes, it's the third option. Very good. Number three, we're going to match this answer. So my favorite subjects were math and science. What is the question? Uh, Mirna Ortiz. What were your favorite subjects? In, in, in school. In school. In school. Perfect. Okay. Heidi, you're muted. Number four. Heidi? We is correct. When was Peter born? Perfect. All right. And the last one. Um, let me see who was doing this one. Jose Armando, are you there? Could you do number five, please? He doesn't hear us. Okay. Karen Asensi. Yeah. Uh, number five, choose the best question to, to match the response. I was 15 years old. And uh, how old were you in 1999? Very good. All right. So... We should have all the correct answers. Yes, great job, everyone. Applauses for you. Okay. By the way, here's some pronunciation tips on the things you were saying. Okay. Um, the first is okay. This is how do you read this, guys? How old? How old? Yes. We. You know what? We always connect the words in English. All right. Everything is connected. So this is how old. How old? How old? How old? Yes, if I had to write it, don't do this, but if I had to, I would say how old, like this. How old? How old? How old? All right. How old? how old? Yes, everything, absolutely everything is connected when speaking. Right? That's why I'm saying when speaking. All right. And another one was, let me see, how old were you? I noticed another one. Uh, this one, look, we need to connect this. So it, it is which option? Which, which, op which op option? option? Which option? Right, connect it, okay? Which option? Which option? Right. Very good. Let's continue. Did everybody finish this part? Yes, teacher. Okay, great. And now 
we're going to learn how to use used to. Volunteer to read the objective? Me. Go ahead. Okay. We lost you there. All right, Mr. Noe Garcia. Sorry, yes. Could you okay. read the objective, please? Okay. Uh, build English conversational skills with the phrase used to, which you can use to describe your childhood or past. By the end of this class, you will be able to form statements, negative and short answer with used to. Learn English phrases like, I used to be very messy when messy. I was a kid. Messy. Messy, very messy. M messy, ah, like the, like the player. <laughs> I thought about that. You read my mind. Okay. Uh, messy when I was a kid. But now I'm very neat and I didn't used to follow politics, but now I read the newspaper every day and oral <laughs> English comprehension exercise is included. Is included. Included. Very good, good job. Sorry, Yolanda, think, Yolanda you were reading, right? The thing yeah. you were breaking up. So I thought you were gone, sorry. Okay, um, have you heard of used to, guys, in the past? Yeah, it's for past. We use it for the past. What else do you know? Anybody who wants to participate? What do you know about this topic? It's used to. Jenny, when do we use used to, Jenny? Mirna, maybe. Um, anybody? Karen, Heidi. When do we use uh, it? We used to when we talking about uh, things that we did in the past. Yes, it's more like you know, it's more like habits in the past, right? Because you know what, the equivalent in the present is usually. So I usually go to the gym. It's not true. <laughs> But this would be the equivalent, all right? I usually, yeah, otherwise I would look better very bad. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I usually go to the gym, all right? This is present. But in the past, we would say, I used to go to the gym. So it's a habit in the past, okay? Is that clear? Okay. Yeah. I don't, if it's not clear, I hope that with the video and the exercise, it will be clear, all right? Because we're going to practice speaking using this as well. So, do you have any questions before we start? No? No. No. Miguel Angel, you do? You're muted. <laughs> I don't hear you. Hi. Hi. You have a question? Sorry. Sorry. Uh, no, <laughs> sorry, I, I in two minutes ago. Uh, you joined two minutes ago? Yeah. Yes, tell me. Sorry, can you explain one more time, please? Because I right, do have a dog right now. Oh, oh my, yep, so. Let's mute the microphone, no. right? Sorry, there is a dog. <laughs> Whose dog is that? All right, thank you. Uh, yes, you know what? Let's do this. We're going to watch the video, and after the video, ask me any questions you have, okay? Okay. So everybody mute the microphone and pay attention. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to discuss your childhood habits using used to. Let me give you a couple of examples. When I was a kid, I used to be very messy, but now I'm very neat. I used to have a lot of hobbies, but now I don't have any free time. I didn't used to follow politics, but now I read the newspapers every day. You'll also listen to a short conversation, which illustrates how this topic is used. 
let me get started by presenting some structure. As I mentioned, what we're going to do is we're going to try to become familiar with the usage of used to. And in this class, what we're going to do is we're going to become familiar with making positive statements and negative statements using used to. So here are a couple of examples that we want to learn. I used to collect comic books. I didn't used to collect anything, but now I collect art. Um, and I'm just borrowing the examples that are here, but of course I'll give more details about this in just one second. But the first thing that I would like to do at this time is that I would like to have you listen to a conversation and you will learn how this topic is used. And after that, I'm going to start explaining how to structure these sentences together. So let's do that right now. Let's listen to that conversation that I'm talking about. Sorry, guys. Is uh, the audio and the video OK? Yes, it's OK. With it? Yes, it's OK. Yeah, it's OK. So, so far, do you have any questions about the structure? No. 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 So I would say, right, it's a habit in the past. For example, I used to collect comic books when I was a kid, for example, all right? Or I didn't used to go to the park or go cycling, but now I do, all right? So I didn't have the habit, but now I have that habit. Is it clear? Yeah. yeah. The structure is the same yeah. one of the past. All right. So the negative form is didn't and the base form of the verb. All right. Let's look at the conversation. Listen to it. Thanks for taking the time to speak with me, Jerry. Oh, it's my pleasure. You have a beautiful accent. Where did you grow up? I grew up in England in a city called Brighton. Were you popular when you were growing up? Not really. I wasn't unpopular, but I wasn't in the popular crowd at school. I had a nice group of friends, though. How did you like school? Oh, I loved school. I was a great student. My mother actually taught at my primary school. I always thought that was terrific. What about your free time as a child? Did you have a hobby? OK, let's make some examples together. I don't want you to watch um, long videos, all right? right now so we're going to be pausing in between so that we participate a little bit more is that okay i hope you like that idea okay right so let's make some examples okay we're gonna use the affirmative form uh you <coughs> do. okay so uh, be ready to participate everyone jose armando guevara all right tell me something that you used to do when you were a child Jose Armando Guevara, not there. Juan Carlos Garcia, are you there? All right, something you used to do as a child? Me? Yes. Uh, when I was a child, I used to ride bicycle. Okay, that's a good one. I used to ride my bicycle. Yes. Okay. Uh, another example. One more. I used to read fables. Okay. okay very good. To read fables. Okay. Now let's make two examples in the negative form. So we're going to say didn't use to. All right, um, something you didn't use to do, but now you do it. I didn't use to ride my bicycle. Uh, another example, something you didn't use to do, but now, for example, all right, I... Um, uh -huh. What is uh, your name? I didn't use to... Daniel. Daniel, okay, because it says iPhone. <laughs> so I want to I want to call yes. you by your name. So 
So if you can change that later, that would be awesome. But it's all right, Daniel. Okay. So I used to. Okay. Uh, I didn't used to read books, but now I read many books. I didn't used to read books. Very good. Books, but now I am a bookworm. We're gonna say, all right. Uh, yeah, just to all right. add some more. Let me see if this is <laughs> all together. All right. So you see, he, uh, Daniel, didn't have this habit in the past, but now he reads a lot. Why did you decide to do that? Um, I don't know. And um, when I was in ninth grade, uh, I read. I read. Luz Negra. Uh huh. And I liked it, and I liked it. I can I continue reading. Uh huh. You see, so the negative form is for something you didn't do, and now you do it. It's a habit that you now have. All right. So this is a negative form. I didn't use to read. Okay. Very good. One more example. That was great. I like that example. It was great. Okay, Miss Katia Lima, one example, please. I didn't use to do exercise, but now I did. But now, do you go to the gym now, or what do you do? You run? I'm walking. But now I walk. And aerobics. Every day. <laughs> All right, and those are real examples, right? <laughs> very good okay so that is basically the structure instead of listening to this conversation i want you to see one all right and we're going to practice that conversation with the partner so let me just open that link for you give me one second it's internet 60 so i'm gonna borrow one from the internet mm, you to dialogue. Right, this is the one. Would you do me a favor, please? I'm gonna zoom it. Can somebody take a screenshot of this dialogue? Hold on, let me make it bigger. And I'm gonna send it to WhatsApp also. Is everybody on WhatsApp right now? I mean... Yes. Yes. Okay, great. So, let's take a screenshot of the conversation, All right? Let me see, do you have any bad habits? Yes. Right, take a screenshot, send it to the group, please. And I'm going to take a screenshot as well, just in case. Let's practice the dialogue first. Repeat after me, ready? Everybody unmute the microphone. <laughs> yes. And repeat after me. How do you know Tim? How do you, How do you know, know Tim? How do you know Tim? How do you know Tim? Well, we used to go to high school together. Well, we used to go, well, to, we go, used to, go to the high, high school, school together. 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 High school together. Uh -huh. However, his family moved during his junior year, so we lost touch. However, However ever, his, family his family moved during his junior, during his junior year, year so touch. we lost touch. <laughs> we lost touch. We lost touch. Okay. Um, where do you see the usage of used to here? Can you find used to in this small dialogue? We used to go to the to go high to school to together. together. Uh -huh, so high that's school together. Habit. And it used changed. To go. Why did it change? Because one of them moved to, that, to another part. Very good. All right. Let's do number three. All right, repeat. Let's read here. Wow, it looks like we're going to get a lot of homework and reading for this class. Wow, reading for this class. It's okay. I'm used to hard classes. It's okay. It's okay. I, I am used to hard classes. I'm used to hard classes. Trying not to work. 
yeah you know what no we're gonna omit number three all right because it's okay but it's not exactly the same so i want you to practice conversation one and two with your partner all right and then i want you to modify conversation number two let me type it here so we're gonna do two things now to practice all right first thing practice the dialogue both number one and number two practice dialogues one and two okay and once you finish you're gonna be in pairs so once you finish i want you to modify dialogue number two okay for example uh, i'll give you let me see jenny are you there yes okay we're gonna modify the dialogue. So start, you will be Sylvia, I will be Tyler. Start reading. Do you, do you have a good habit? <laughs> uh-huh, okay. Yeah, or you can say any bad habits. And do you have any good habits? Yes. Good habits. Mm, yes, but I used to exercise a lot last year. I don't do it anymore because I'm really busy. Uh, um, why right now you know to... Um, like why? exercise. <laughs> why are you not exercising anymore? Or why did you stop? Okay. Oh, oh yes, okay. because it, it's... Uh, my schedule is a little bit uh, more, it's a little bit full, we can say, all right? And okay. yes, I used to go with my friend, but I don't see him anymore. So we already improvised, changing uh, the dialogue a little bit. That's what I want you to do, all right? Is that clear? Yes. So what yeah. are we going to do first? Yes. I'm going to practice. Practice what? Uh, the first one and the second one. Very good. And when we finish practicing, what are we going to do next? We're going to modify, modify the second the dialogue. number two. Number two. Very good. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> if you don't have a dialogue, check what's up right now, okay? I'm going to, you're going to be in pairs. So accept the invitation, please. Make sense. Join. Lost touch. Okay, uh, do you have any bad habits? Touch. Uh, habits. Tyler, uh, I I used to smoke, but I stopped seeing it's unhealthy. 
I heard it, it's hard to give up. Ate a lot of junk food. But now I usually eat a healthy food. Okay. In my life. So I was able to quit. Yeah. Okay. Now we have to make a new conversation. Yes. Okay. Yeah, to change. Okay. Do you have any bad habits? Have it? I used to smoke. I but I stopped size in habits. Habits. Okay. I used to smoke, but I stopped signs it's unhealthy. Mm -hmm. I... But how we will use used to? So... Let's go check. Ma cortado. Uh, is Juan Carlos Garcia participating? No, only Mirna and me. Mirna and I. Juan Carlos. And, and and I. <laughs> Juan Carlos. Mr. Garcia. No, I don't know. All right, continue. Ladies. Okay. Uh, do you do not have to to watch it <laughs> okay perfect it's a lie, so by the way. <laughs> okay and I'm gonna, no. now i am i'm gonna ask uh, and after that uh, miguel can hello uh, miguel can uh, ask. Mm, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. I uh, now I'm gonna ask to. So, ¿cómo vamos a empezar entonces? Do you do you do anything to greasy food? The fast food or fast food. Fast food, yeah. right? Greasy food is okay. Fast food is okay. Okay. Yeah. The fast food is very delicious. <laughs> Do pizza. Uh, I know. Yes, but I am used to making sharp turns in my life, so I was able to. <laughs> uh. Did you guys finish? No. I have a little problems with the internet, I think. Yes, my internet is very slowly. Me too. <laughs> oh, Jose Armando, how about yours? Oh, my, my internet connection is very bad. <laughs> I don't have signal here. <laughs> I don't have signal. I, 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 I don't have, yeah, signal. I don't have. I know in my, my, yeah, <laughs> in, in San Jose, Villanueva. That's okay. why I'm only yeah. here with my people. Okay, we're yes, gonna I go know. back. Let's, let's see what the, what your classmates did, all right? Let's go back. Okay. Uh -uh. All right, welcome back. How do you do? Did you practice? Yes. Yes, we practice. Right. Um, 
the idea was for you to be in pairs, but I know that the majority were in groups of three. So, yeah. yep. Let's see. Um, pronunciation feedback I have. So let's say habits. Habits. Habit. Habit. Yes. Habit. And this is stop. It ends with a sound right with no vibration. So we're going to pronounce it as a stop. 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 Yes. Stop. stop. EV is going to be a T. So it's stop. Stop. <coughs> stop. It sounds like Habit. this. Stop. Like this. Stop. 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 Right. Stop. Stop. Very good. Okay. Um, anybody who wants to who wants to share the dialogue with us with the group volunteers, show us what you did. Daniel, you want to participate? <laughs> I can see it in your face. <laughs> okay, Daniel, who were you working with? I don't hear you. Now I hear you. Uh, I, I work with Juan Carlos. Okay, so. And um, with Yolanda, if I don't. If I'm not wrong. Okay, then Daniel and Juan Carlos. Ready? Juan Carlos was participating, right? Yeah. Okay. So Juan Carlos and Daniel, ready? <laughs> We're gonna say lights, camera, action. Go ahead. Um, um, uh, Juan Carlos, uh, do you have some bad habits? Yes, uh, I used to um, smoking very much. I used to smoke, but then. now, ah, all right, by now, mm, no more. Okay. Not anymore. Great. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> All right. Great. Applauses for them, please. Or go like this. Good job. That was short. <laughs> Two lines, but it's okay. <laughs> it's all right. So, do you get the idea now of the affirmative and negative form? Is it kind of clear? Guys? Yeah. yeah. Yes, I have a question. Tell me. When you use, uh, use, for example, I say uh, when I was young, I used to use computer. Is this correct? Yeah. Uh, Yes, it sounds weird, but it is correct. When I was young, I used to use computers. Okay. Or I used to use, yeah, computers, okay. It is perfect because they have a different meaning. No. Yes, this is a habit and this is the action. So it's like some people ask me, teacher, is it correct to say, do you do? And it is, right? Because this is an auxiliary and this is a verb. So when they have a different meaning. A verb. Yes, exactly. It's okay. But that was a good question. A very smart one, actually. Yep. Any okay. other questions? No? I'm going to take silence as a no. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Okay, no, let's continue no. watching the video, all right? Let's get the concept out of the way. Used to refers to something that you regularly did in the past, but you don't do that anymore. And let me get started by explaining positive statements. So what I'm going to do at this time, I'm just going to 
put the formula here and we're going to try to make sense of the positive statements that are outlined there for us. So what we're going to do at this time is we're, we're going to borrow that first example that you see here. So we have I is the subject and then this follows used to and then we're going to have the verb. It's going to be in the present. So I used to and in this case being. very messy but uh, now um, very neat there we go so the subject in our sentence is I am gonna go ahead and play with the colors right now uh, this follows used to and then we have the verb to be now this just happens to be the bird that we're using in this example but it's not always going to be the bird to be and then finally we're, we're going to have some sort of complement that um, uh, in order to finish that idea there and so now let's try to make a couple of more examples so I'm going to mention some of my own so I used to and I'm going to say I used to play a lot of sports when I was a kid um, and well we follow the structure um, we have a subject then this follows used to then we have the verb in the present tense and then we have some sort of complement at the end now let me present the negative structure let me present how we're gonna make negative statements so previously we learned that we can make positive statements with used to now we're going to talk about negative statements the only thing that's going to change to our previous structure is that we're going to include didn't all right so that's what I want you to notice and also I want you to notice that used to will no longer be in the uh, it will no longer be in the past and now it's going to be in the present and that's because of this auxiliary verb that you see here so we're going to have the subject plus didn't and then used to will be in the present it's not going to be in the past like we saw it in our positive statement and the rest will pretty much stay the same uh, so the subject plus didn't used to plus the verb in the present and then whatever complement exists so in this case um, we're gonna I'm gonna go ahead and write uh, a couple of examples here so some of the ones that I mentioned as we began the class let me go ahead and give another example here I'm gonna say I didn't use to collect anything but I do now there we go and there is one last way on how to express negative statements and that is using never used to and it's quite similar so let me give you an example about this I never used to play sports okay, but now I play every day so we can also make negative statements using never used to okay so the subject plus never used to and that's going to follow the verb in its present form and then whatever complement exists I never used to play sports I never used to worry about money I never used to play sports but now I play tennis just like you see on the example there and the last thing that I would like for you to do is to tell me what did you used to do when you were a child did you used to play sports did you used to have a pet? Did you used to play video games? And also. Okay, now that we have the structure here, are there any questions or are you ready to practice? Okay. Ready to we practice? Are ready. Okay, great. So uh, let me see if I can find this. I'm going to send you, check WhatsApp, everyone. Open WhatsApp right now, please. Hold on. Okay. 
All right, and I'm sending you. Oh, I know, I know where it is. I'm sending you an image right now of the questions we're gonna discuss, all right? It's similar to another one we did. Okay, open the image, it should look like this. You found it? I don't know if yeah. you see it. All right, oh, this one. There the it is. The board game. Yes. Okay. The board game, okay. Everybody, I open it. you should be looking at this. What is the first question you see here? How often did you We're use cropping. to get oh. into trouble? Yes. Mm -hmm. So let's look at the no. The first question is where it says start with the with the baby, right there. Where, where did, did you, you used to live uh, when you yes. were growing going up? Again. Growing up. Dictate it for me, please. I'm going to type it here. So where? Where did you used to live when you were growing up? Okay. Yes, when you were growing up. Very good. So how do we answer this question? Imagine I'm asking Miguel Angel. How would you answer this question? Mm. Mm hmm. I don't remember. <laughs> I'm very shy. Mm. I never, I was never used biberon. It's too long. It's too no, no, where do you use to Hello. live? Okay, Miguel Angel, where do you live right now? Yeah. Ah, donde vivía. Donde, ¿Donde solía vivir. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you were Viveron, no sé qué tenía que ver. <laughs> no, que me confundí, confundí, dice que es lo que, eh, entendí otra cosa, que okay. era lo que no ocupabas de niño. Pensé. Uh, oh, okay, hold on, hold on. Where did you used to live when you were growing up? So, listen guys, you're going to start. When I was growing up, coma, I used to help me complete live. it. I used to live in, live in Santa Ana for me. In Santa Ana, okay. Santa Ana. I used to live in Santa Ana with my mom and my father, okay. In, tell me a, a neighborhood. For example, I used to live in Santa Ana near the park, near the church, okay? So give some more details. Is it clear? Yes. All right, we're gonna practice yes. these groups. So <laughs> read the questions, discuss, try to pay special attention to the use of used to. All right, so let me make some changes here before we start. All right, so Accept the invitation, let's practice. you were growing up when I was growing up I used to live in Oloquilca mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. right now I live in another town called to El Rosario okay perfect so and um, uh, where did you used to live when you were growing up? When I was... Uh... Ah, okay. Um, solo que así como citado, sale 
O sea, igual no lo podría ver como la imagen. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. You cannot see the image. Yo, yo, you uh, can send again. Yo, porque me acabo de unir este, al grupo, entonces, por eso no, no me cayó cuando la enviaron. Ah, ok, I'm going to send it again. Ok. All right, there we go. I do the okay. question. He has it. He got it. Mm. A little. You need to speak louder. You sound very far away and low. Yeah. Uh, have a problem with a <laughs> okay, speak louder because you're very far away. No, we cannot hear you, Mr. Juan Carlos. Carlos Juan Carlos. Okay, Mr. Juan Carlos Cervellón, I'm going to send you to another group, okay? And then Mr. Juan Carlos Garcia, you can listen to some of your partners speaking. So I guess you're just going to do listening, okay? Yeah, when I was a child, my favorite toy um, used to, um, I don't know, um, uh, it's, um, it used to be, no, es que no sé Sorry. cómo, si me, tengo, la, tengo la palabra, pero era como cobrar una machine cashier or something like that. Uh -huh. Used to be a uh, I'll go here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, perfect. The next one. Yeah, I remember I had a cashier as well, and it was very fun. Yeah. Yeah, because you used to play like supermarket, tiendita, right? Money <laughs> and something like that. Yes. Uh, yeah. I remember okay. the cashier. What did you play? I remember with it? Yeah. How did you play with no. it? Tell us. Okay, the next one, right? Yeah, yeah. No, I was asking Miguel Angel, but I think his connection. Ah, Miguel Angel. No. Yeah. How did you used to play with it, Miguel Angel? Mm, repeat, please. How did you used to play with the cashier? Ah, I remember the cashier. Uh -huh. I play with my 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 vecinos, my neighbor. Neighbors. Neighborhood. Neighborhood. No, with and my neighbors. Child. Neighbors. Neighbors. Ah, so Miguel Angel say I used to play with my neighbors. Uh -huh. I used to play with my neighbors. Perfect. All right. Uh, two girls and your Girl. brother. And, and their brothers. And their brothers. Right. Very good. Okay, next question. Is okay. what do you used to do on your school holidays? Okay. Okay. Um, I used to go with my grandma. Okay. What used to be your favorite toy? Mm. 
Uh, I think so. That I to that. I think so. No, sorry. Yeah, the thing is that I, I think so is to finish an idea. But when you're gonna start it, you say, I think that, I think that. I think that. Okay. I think that I used to. Uh -huh. Um, a troop uh, car or, or I used to what? I'm sorry, what is the verb? Uh, sorry? What's the verb? Uh, what's the verb? Mm -hmm. I used to play. Yeah. Or it used to be. It used to be a car, I guess you were trying to say. All right, yeah. read the yeah. next question, please, Mirna. What do you used to do on your school holiday? Heidi? I, I used to, uh, I used to go to the beach with my parents. Uh-huh, very good. Okay, Daniel asked the following question and Mirna will answer. Uh, okay, right. Um, so yeah. Who <laughs> did you used to play? What did you play? Mm -hmm. Okay. I used to play with my cousins and we used to play uh, Mika on the little. <laughs> Okay, I will give you the, the names for those. Do you know them, Daniel? Uh, nope. Uh, I, uh, well, I see the names that Mirna, Heidi, and Juan Carlos. Oh, no, no, I'm saying like Mika and Escondelero. Do you know how to say that in English? Uh, um, quiero ver. Um, quiero ver. No, no. <laughs> No, uh, no, uh, no, no, no. Okay, I will tell no, you quite. later, later, after we're in the okay. group. Where do you live, by the way? Uh, I live in Ciudad Merliot. Okay, Mirna, where do you live? I live in Casaltepeque. Casaltepeque. Ah, okay. Quesaltepeque, Quesaltepeque. I know. I have been there. All right. And you, Heidi? I live in Ciudad Merliot too. Ah, you're kind, you might be neighbors, guys, and you don't even know it. <laughs> Maybe. Juan Carlos, where do you live? I live in to Zacatecoluca. In Zacate okay. No, I've never been there. Eh, that sounds far away, though. <laughs> Definitely far from here. <laughs> That's for sure. Okay, we're going to go back now. All right, let's go back. All right. Okay, I guess everybody's back, or maybe not. Let me see. Yes, teacher. Which is, oh, yeah, I'm here. Here you are. Give me 10 seconds. So some people are not back yet. Did you practice? Did you get the chance? Yeah. Just a little bit. 
Yeah, you know what? Tomorrow we can continue. How many questions did you discuss? Like a four or five? Yeah. Okay. Tomorrow we can four. discuss five other questions. How about that? Perfect, teacher. Okay. So you have more okay, practice. teacher. By the way, you were talking about games that we used to, we all used to play in our childhood. So one of them is hide and seek, okay? And the other one is tag. This is Escondelero and Mika. Hide and seek and tag, all right? So you say tag, tag. Tag. All right, yeah. I Who used speak. to play these games? Say, I used to, if you used to. I used to. Yeah, I used to play <laughs> hide and seek. Everybody's like, Mr. Noé, you didn't play hide and seek or tag? I don't hear you. Katia Lima, you used to play hide and seek uh, and tag? Sorry, I was mute. I used to <laughs> hide and seek. Yes, right? Yes, teacher. Play. All right. Very good. It was a pleasure seeing you, and I hope to see every one of you tomorrow. You're okay, joking. perfect. Okay. Thank you. Okay, you teacher. Good okay. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.